Welcome Leo. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Dragon Oracle cards, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's have a look here. Leo, one card for Leo please. One. Okay, there it is. Let me go pick it up. Okay, Leo, it is the White Gold Dragon from Lyra. Okay, so I've got the book ready as well. Oh, no, I didn't get the book ready. I just found where it was in the book. Okay. So, where are we? Let me get it ready so I don't forget actually to read it to you at the end. Um, okay, there we go. Rightio. So, this says, this is, wow, I love the Lyra and energy. And, in fact, on my team... As I do these um, messages for you, one of the angels that I work with is Lyran Energy. So this is pretty, pretty special. Okay, so connects you to the highest Christ light. It says to develop your casual, your causal chakra, bathe in ninth dimensional Christ light. Okay. Wow, this is going to be, this is going to be cool. I feel a little bit honoured to be doing this reading for you, Leo. Okay, let's have a look. White Gold Dragon from Lyra. Tell me more about this. Three cards for Leo for the White Gold Dragon from Lyra, please. We've got two. One more. There was one that came out. Do I need this one? Yes. Sorry. Yes. It didn't jump out. So I was like, oh, I'll just put it back. But I was like, do I need it? And I was like, yeah. You just saw that happen. Anyway, okay, let me get in myself because this is cool energy, man. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we have... Clear out the old. Okay, this was the one that I wasn't sure whether to take or not. Interesting. Clear out the old. So much here. So much here, there's this wisdom, there's this ancient, I don't think it's ancient wisdom, but there's something from long ago coming through here. Okay, we've got rainbow here, beautiful. We've got the owl, dandelions. We've got the rose, purple rose. Um, we've got the key here, the key, which is in this heart chakra. And these steps up to here. Wow. Anyway, we've got your worth it and potential gateway. Okay, so let's have a look. Clear out the old. Tell me more about this. There's something also that you're not looking at here, Leo. Um, and something that you're not listening to. Is it your heart? Tell me more about clear out the old. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, just get these in order. So they're almost falling off the table. One more card. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Okay, so <clears throat> what have we got here? Harmony. Oh, look at this beautiful harmony here. This is the heart, right? The heart and the mind coming into harmony because, yeah, see for, oh, yes, this is what it is. See here, there's stormy waters in the mind here, okay? And that's not bringing you into the heart where this harmonious energy resides, where this calmness, this peacefulness resides. It's really about bringing these two into balance here, okay? Um, we've got past lives here. And I feel as though in order for this to happen, the heart needs to be opened. Very interesting because this actually came up for cancer as well. It's the same message. So if you feel like listening to cancer's video, you can. If you have cancer in your chart or you're dealing with the cancer, definitely go and listen to that one because that was beyond. Like this, that was, that was freaking way up there, man. It was good. Anyway, Leo. past lives there's something that needs clearing out in order for you to bring through something from your past life because i'm looking sorry shaky grounds you see this is shaky grounds right 
and it's the head thing but there's this hourglass here it's not open and this is where the heart is it's not open healing we need healing healing okay for this new beginning to take place this new truth this new consciousness it's being conscious of what needs a healing in you so that you can open up this heart chakra okay um because like the hands are over the mind the hands are own over the intuition um the solar plexus right these are the areas that need healing here um because the heart is impacted by those Conditioning and new vision. Interesting, right? This is the lion coming out here. This is you stepping into your power. Right, there's a new vision that you have for your life. But it's kind of like, Leo, this, this stuff that you need to work through for yourself is um, keeping you tied to... Tied to what? What is this? Not tied down, not tied to something you're not, but there's conditioning that you're not aware of that is impacting you in some form or other. And there's this vision that you have that you would like to step out, but there is this part of you which is still held down. And I feel like it's from the mind here. I feel like it's this mind, the storm in the mind. Mm. Mm, because I'm looking at this here and I'm looking at this piece and these cards. Yeah. Wow. So it's doing that healing of that conditioning that you I don't even think actually you're aware of it though I don't think you can see it which is why there's a blindfold over the eyes mm, you're worth it you are worth it There's this sense of looking out to um, <clears throat> to the sea, right? And seeing what is there for the taking, seeing what is there for you, but still clinging on to this tree. It's like there's still this sort of <clears throat> survival mode, in a sense. Tell me more about you or worth it. There's this, still this internal battle. Still this internal battle. Yeah. See, there's, there's something that you are in the balance, hanging in the balance about, and you're not making a choice. You're not making a decision. Oh, I, don't need anything. I don't think it's, a, I don't know if it's a decision. I think that is something that you feel very vulnerable about, though. You're not sure which way to go feels like a massive storm around you this is the thing it feels like a, it feels like chaos to you and I want to say this here is in the mind right this is the mind chaos right because what remains actually still within you is this consciousness and this is what you need to tap into right this heart space here to allow the mind to settle this is the thing Leo like coming into the mind it doesn't help right it doesn't help at all but it's sort of like that's what you've done for this protection and this is what this conditioning is a go into the mind because the mind will tell me what i need to do in order to protect myself but it's not allowing you to expand that will never allow you to expand if you keep going back in there it's not going to allow you to proceed forward into your future because what is holding you back is this conditioning of of you know past maybe even in the past life right Yeah. 
this is drawing on all elements that you need receiving the guidance that you you need because you ask for you ask for the guidance and then you receive it but then you ignore it so it's participating it's participating in that right it's participating in the change it's kind of like expecting the change to happen without you doing anything but you need to actually do something yeah you need to do something okay sharing and traveling ah see yeah okay this path here there's a person here where is this person here i don't know if you can see this or not because it's teeny tiny this person here is traveling this path right and these the these the destination that they're going to and uh, they're traveling along on their own they're quite happy they're okay with that they're traveling this path on their own rough terrain doing it alone there's this opportunity to share that path and allow someone else to hold the light to guide the way as well and that is what is The thing that you are worth doing this with you see this person sits on the island alone wondering how they're going to get to their destination not actually looking around outside of themselves to see if anyone else is there to help them row the boat to get to where they need to go hmm. potential gateway potential gateway here look at this heart in this tree right it's a whole new world it's a whole new world leo and um but it's up to you whether you walk into it or not it is your choice it's kind of like there's this world that you've created here that you're so familiar with it's become your safety zone and um stepping out of that is scary Which is interesting because you want to go to this whole new future, but you don't want to step out of your comfort zone. So it's a little bit how how is that going to work? Like what are you going to do in order for that to work? You know, because you want to put yourself out there, but you don't want to. You want to open up, but you don't want to. There's all this conflict. There's this conflict going on within you. And it's like, no, no, I'll just stay back here because it's safer. And so, yeah, this is really interesting. Okay, so potential gateway for Leo here, please. Need more about this. Okay, I'm going to pick this card up off the floor. Okay, so I've got the first two cards. I don't even know which how these all came out, to be honest with you um so we'll just do them however doesn't matter right um okay so the first two here we've got we are the world right joining forces joining forces here leo to travel along the path that you need to travel on trust okay trust that you can do that trust that the 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 leap of faith that needs to be taken here is going to lead to this. This is the thing I think you you fear that it you will fall between the cracks and you'll burn, and um, that's not the case at all. It's not that's in here, right? False expectations appearing real. Remember, that's what fear is: false expectations appearing real. Okay, so this is something that is really important for you to um, to be aware of. What's going on inside of you? Is this real? Is this just a false expectation appearing real? You know, where is it coming from? What do I need to do to work through this? Going back and searching back from where this came from. When did I ever first feel like this? The first time in my life, when did I feel like this? Yeah. Friendliness. This is joining forces again, right? Like I was talking about before. Joining forces so that you can combine here. 
right? The Two of Cups there. Okay, we've got creativity, letting go, letting go of the things that no longer serve you, that is stopping you from moving forward with this pursuit of this vision that you have here, Leo. Yeah? Breaking free from the chains that hold you back, that hold you down, that hold you down from flying because the chains are heavy and it's time to break free. It's time to let go of the change, chains because they've held you down for so long. You've become used to them and they've kind of become a bit of a safety mechanism and it's becoming unhealthy. Okay, and um, we have silence. Going into the silence here, tapping in and tuning in. Allowing your heart to speak, listening to your heart, listening to what it is that you truly want. Because at the end of the day, there's no way that you are going to be able to sail the waters that you want to sail with the storm in your mind. It is the storm that stops you from hopping in the boat to sail to the big ship. Why? Because it is the storm that led you to the island on which you isolated yourself. And now the storm has passed, Leo. The storm is only in your mind now. The storm has passed. Don't let it hold you back, okay? Alrighty, we are going to have a read of this. Okay, so white gold dragon from Lyra connects you to the highest Christ light. Develop your causal chakra. chakra. Bathe in ninth dimensional Christ light. <laughs> Yum. Okay, about this card. Lyra is the cross-shaped 12th dimensional stargate through which Archangel Christiel and the unicorns enter our universe. The light from Lyra pours down through the moon, allowing scintillating seventh, seventh dimensional dragons to step through into the vibration of earth. Hmm. These white gold dragons embody the highest frequency of the Christ light available to everyone on this planet. They work closely with Archangel Christiel, who is in charge of the development of the causal chakras of humanity. It is particularly important now as our causal chakra is our connection to the higher dimensions of spirit, the dragons, angels, unicorns and masters. The white gold dragons from Lyra help to clear and develop our causal chakra and illuminate our highest possible ascension path. Love it. Okay, the guidance of the card is these white gold dragons are attracted to you now because you already carry Christ light in your aura. Ask one to take you to the ninth dimensional pool of Christ energy held in Lacume. Visualize yourself bathing in the pool which shimmers. Is that pool there? I don't know. Um, which shimmers and swirls with pure love and light. Feel yourself absorbing all you are ready to receive. When you return, continue to feel the white gold light in your aura and practice pure unconditional love in your daily life. Yes, that's why you have to clear out the old and open the heart, right? For the unconditional love, the unconditional love for yourself. Anyway. As I was. Um, your aura will radiate the incredibly high frequency of white gold and the white gold dragon from Lyra will support you by, continu by continuing to pour Christ light into you. Take time to find a quiet still place where you can listen to its wisdom and guidance. 
Mm, very nice. Okay, Leo, I'm going to leave that with you. Okay, go bathe in that light, man, because psh, that sounds pretty cool. Anyway, okay, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.